Today we're 3D printing a SpaceX Starship and it even has articulated wings. Let's jump into it. You'll notice the articulated wings are part of the 3D print. Now, if you're looking to 3D print this one yourself, it is a paid for model. It's around about $7. So there'll be a link in the description below that goes to the original designer and they've done a very good job with this, I think. And I'm very happy with my purchase. But this is certainly not for beginners. There is a few complicated parts in here to print and some of them are optional. So we'll go over that as we build. But you can see here we have three main parts of our build and these have the articulated wings built into the bottom and of course the top, which really sold me on this 3D model, to be honest. I've seen ones that didn't have articulated wings. So that really did sell me on this one. And then when it comes to paint job here, I decided I was gonna glue this up together and then go ahead and give it a matte black paint job. And of course the rest I'm gonna do in silver. You could do this with no paint whatsoever with gray filament or silver filament and then a black filament. But I think the black is a little bit too shiny. So I wanted to matte it with a matte black and I think overall ends up coming through great. So here's the other parts. You can see the metallic parts for the wings are actually designed with their own built-in support. So they're quite easy to print, which is really quite nice and overall really detailed. And it does come with a few seams once you put the whole thing together. If there was only a little bit of feedback I could give, it would be a couple of alternative options where, for instance, these two bottom parts of this part here were already connected and I could just print off as one big piece and the body section that you add, the, which will be the silver section we put on the exterior here, it'd be very nice if you also had alternate versions where you could try and print them off as one piece. Definitely would be a lot more difficult and more chance of failure. But if you pulled it off, you'd have less seams overall. And that's the only minor feedback I'd give. And then assembly here is very, very good. You'll notice the pins are actually all keyed with different shapes so that they can only go together in a certain way. So it'll be very hard to mess up assembly and put something around the wrong way, which could easily happen when you're not paying attention. So that's a nice detail that has been put in with the original designer and means that there's a lot less issues that you are going to run into when you attempt to actually assemble this. And now you can see that I've painted everything up. The black is now matte black. And then we've also got the silver pieces. And you can see those two larger sections, if they were able to be printed off as one big piece, I'd be really happy with that but that's my minor uh, feedback, especially because they actually get spanned by two other pieces later on. You can also see here that I had a breakage in one of the wing details as well when I was removing it from its supports, but thankfully it'll go together and be completely invisible. Now you can see we've got the engine assembly down the bottom, which has to be installed, and it has three little nubbins that run along internal rails inside the 3D model. So I'm just gonna put some glue in there and then just shove it in along those rails. And as such, we should end up with a perfect engine assembly inside. And now we'll go ahead and assemble our wing details. So these are really simple. They fit in beautifully. No need to mess around with the scale in here and just glue them in. And there you go. You've got these lovely details and the black and the silver contrast looks amazing. Now, overall, the SpaceX rocket here does look a little bit boring. It's lacking overall detail and shape because it is just a big cylinder, unlike older school rockets. But once it comes together, I think it does end up looking really cool. And the thing that saves it aesthetic wise is definitely the wing details. They just look really good. And of course, they're moving independently. It just looks great. I also got to praise the size of this model as well. I think the scale is perfect. It looks very, very good in person. Now we can get onto the paneling. And the only suggestion I'd give you guys here is if you decide to print this and make it yourself, really get every little bit of debris out of the way. Make sure that every piece is as clean as possible because it does have to slot in with the solar panel designs on the side. So you want to make sure there's not even a little bit in the way and then it'll fit in overall, I think a lot better. I would definitely go back and just be extra careful again. And I'd probably do a much more simpler dry fit where I really take my time and make sure it floats in beautifully. Then going up here, this actually gets a little bit more complicated. So we've got a piece just above the one I'm installing now, which sits onto some pegs that are designed into it. 
and it also slots under the actual solar panels as well. And you're going to see I might have a little bit of in, uh, problems installing it initially, and then I have to come back and redo it. So yeah, I would definitely take your time and figure this out. Also, this piece you'll notice has numbers on it. There's an alternative piece with no numbers as well. So I recommend going with the no number version. You'll see why later when we are continuing our assembly. But as you can see there, we're now fully in with that piece, which leaves us just the top section to be slotted in. And then we are almost there. Now, another detail I decided to actually not include on this model was the windows. You'll notice there's little windows up at the top of the cabin and there is pieces to actually put in there. But I decided to have more of a void going into the interior. So I decided not to install them. But there is bits in there, 3D model, if you want to go ahead and add them in. And then we've just got a few additional pieces. So we've got these tiny bits that have to be added into the sides here. And then we've got our SpaceX logo which is right on this seam. And because this part actually prints flat, but is going onto a curved surface, it does mean you want to find something to hold the whole thing down so that it will fit to that curve when the glue sets. And then there's the numbers on the side, which are annoying. So you do print off the numbers separately and I would give it a go. I thought, you know what? The rest of it's gone together beautifully. I thought we'll try and see if we can make it so that the, we could place the numbers in. But no, no chance. There was no chance of me successing with that. So what I decided to do was go ahead and actually just paint them instead. There's this little nubbin down here as well, which you've got to fit in. And I gave it a nice old whack with the hammer. And then you've got two sections along here. Now, in order to make this a little bit more disguised, I added in some black paint underneath so that any bits that didn't quite match up, you wouldn't be able to see the silver behind it. So that that way, hopefully, it's much more uh, invisible of a structure being added on with the final piece. And you do need a little bit of help there. This is where the seam comes in a little bit of a problem because if it's just a touch too large, then it will not fit these pieces in quite so perfectly. So you wanna have this as close as you can to fit in perfect as possible before you get to this section. But as you can see, this adds some beautiful detail to it. I also came in with a little bit of silver paint too. I added some paint to those little circular details just to try and add some extra detail to the overall design. And these are the numbers. So they're tiny, as you can see, S28, I believe it is. And there was just no chance I was gonna get these to fit without a big pain in the ass. So I decided instead to do some very slow and detailed painting instead of these numbers. And like I say, in the original files, there is one with no numbers that you can print off. And I would recommend going with that and not printing the numbers separately either. So that overall, you're going to have a slightly cleaner model by the end of it. If the numbers are important to you, I would recommend painting them like how I'm doing. I think it actually works out pretty damn well. And yeah, we're actually done. So this is the final product. And I got to say, it looks exceptional. And I think if I had seen this and it didn't have articulated wings, I wouldn't have gone for it. That really sold me on it. And the overall design, once it's printed off and painted up, is just perfect. So happy with this. And although it is just a big cylinder and I really got the sense of that when I held it, it is nice to have quite a lot of details on it. The engine assembly is especially awesome. And if you do want to go ahead, you can buy more parts for this. You've got like the booster and all that. So you can put together your entire rocket if you want to but i'm very happy with just this part i think it looks exceptional and of course who knows we might be launching stuff up to space in this thing for a long time and it's kind of nice to have a model of it at home and yeah beautiful so let me know what you think of this one there'll be a link to the below if you want to go and check out the original designers files and potentially buy them i definitely recommend it it's a good one mostly i cover free stuff on this channel but every so often i do purchase the odd uh, 3D model and check them out, especially when stuff like this comes up that really is just like, gives me a kind of ex exceptional look to it. So yeah, well worth checking out, especially these solar panels. Look how detailed they are. Really nice texture. And all that from a 3D printer you can have in your home. Very happy with it. So yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.